Hello, um, got a bit of an idea which uh, you might find interesting relating to the use of uh, heat from the ground to generate electricity. And here's the first section. Uh, basically, there's a thing called a ground source heat pump, and what that does is that takes uh, water from the ground which has been warmed to approximately 4 degrees C and it passes it through a compressor and a condenser inside the heat pump, a little bit like a fridge that's operating backwards and the water comes out the other side at about 50 degrees C the return back into the ground goes back in at about 0 degrees C and the return back from your heating system which goes out at 50 comes back at about 40 degrees C the net result of all of this uh, in fact is there's an overall power gain uh, something to the tune of between 4 and 5 so if we assume it's 5 which is a coefficient of performance of 5 it means for 1 kilowatt of electrical energy coming in there's 5 kilowatts of heat energy leaving the system so that's an overall efficiency if you like of 500 percent so that's the first step in the electrical generation is to uh, to get the heat out of the ground and use the energy in that heat combined with electrical power input to give us a much higher heat output. The next thing we have to do is to take a device which is called a Stirling engine and the way the Stirling engine works is we have a hot side and a cold side and if we've got a difference of say 50 degrees, 50 degrees input on the hot zero degrees on the cold um, and we have an overall power input of let's say five kilowatts from our heat that engine then produces a rotational movement because it's an engine and if we assume in this case it's 30 percent efficient then out of an electrical generator we're going to get something like 1.5 kilowatts so for five kilowatts of heat energy in we get only 1.5 kilowatts out which is not very efficient um, it's not to say that these things can't be made much more efficient than that but that's basically the second step in the chain the next step is to take the energy from the ground pass it through a combination of the heat pump and Stirling engine take the one and a half kilowatts coming out feed one kilowatt back in to the heat pump to generate the heat from the ground and then we've got half a kilowatt spare uh, half a kilowatt left over and that half kilowatt can be used for any purpose whatsoever and so by combining those three things, the heat pump, the Stirling engine and breaking it and completing it into a big system uh, we actually get free energy from the ground all year round um, the capital cost of developing something like this is quite uh, quite high uh, ground source heat pumps tend to cost about uh, five or six thousand pounds minimum and I'm not aware that anybody's produced a Stirling engine um, yet that um, would be capable of powering a 5 kilowatt generator or having a 5 kilowatt input but uh, if anybody finds such a thing and can put the system together uh, you've basically got free electricity forever hope you find that interesting